Hey, Rob Pincus here, designer of the Avidity Arms PD-10 defensive carry pistol. Wanted to talk to you about it uh, real quick, give you some overview. Uh, the background, I think this is the best collection of compromises for anyone who truly wants to carry a gun and go to the range and practice with it. Of course, that means getting some training classes in, learning the techniques, and then keeping those techniques developed and uh, refreshed from time to time. Um, what I've seen uh, over 20 years in the training industry is that a lot of people uh, buy a certain gun because they think it's gonna be easy to carry. Uh, they go to the range, maybe they take a class with it, maybe they take half a class with it, uh, they do some very low level practice with it, and then they put it in a holster, they carry it around. If they are to go back and go to the range to go shooting at a future date, or especially when they come to classes, advanced classes like those that my staff and I offer, uh, they'll quite often not use their carry gun. So maybe they carry a subcompact gun and they show up with a midsize or even full size gun a lot of times with all the bells and whistles, right? The battle belt, uh, the mag carrier, the extended mags, uh, the red dot, and they don't have a red dot in their carry gun, things like that. So what I wanted to do was come up with a gun uh, that was essentially uh, a mid-sized gun um, with a grip that fills the hand uh, that would also be contoured to accommodate as many human hands as, as feasibly possible, right? As, as the widest range that we could come up with. Um, the narrowness of the grip means that it accommodates smaller hands and shorter fingers, whether that's a, a man's hand with short digits, uh, maybe a, a fatter, kind of chunkier hand, or a woman's hand uh, that's generally just very small. You have guys with small hands and women with thicker hands as well. One of the other things we see is very large hands, um, typically on a man, or a woman's hands with long fingers. And those long fingers sometimes get lost as do large hands get lost on the tiny guns. So the width from front to rear of the PD-10 is actually very similar to a general full-size gun. But again, it's the narrowness and this frame is actually 0.8 uh, to 0.9 uh, almost everywhere. Uh, the Slide itself is 0.9 inches also, uh, up to 20% smaller than a lot of the subcompact uh, stagger stack guns that are very trendy right now. At the widest point, the outside of the slide stop, uh, we are at one inch. Uh, the PD-10, again, is, is a mid-sized gun with a, with a full-size feeling grip uh, that's very thin to accommodate smaller hands. Um, it's a four inch barrel. Uh, the sights are sights that I designed for Ameriglow uh, over a decade ago now. They are the claw rear sight set up for emergency one-handed manipulation with a wide rear notch blacked out so that the front sight, uh, which is here is a bright yellow with a tritium insert, which also is a square, um, is what your eye picks up on. It's very easy to align that square inside of the wide rear notch. Um, as you can see, this is already optic uh, optimized. It's ready for the footprint of the Shield RMSC, the Hollow Sun 407-507Ks, uh, the EPS Carry also. I've got one of those here um, on one of our slides. And one of the important things to note is that because we have the optic cut integrated into the slide from the factory, it is also set up to work with our sights. So you, the consumer does not need to get uh, a second set of sights. You can use the iron sights with the red dot. Um, they're not co-witnessed um, in all designs. Some designs it's a perfect co-witness, in other designs it's a lower third, but either way, you can use these uh, great defensive iron sights that come with the gun. Um, as I said, this is a slide stop. Um, it's optimized to be pushed up to lock the gun open very easily um, when you need to show the gun clear, unload the gun for your administrative stuff, or when you need to uh, remove a malfunction, strip a magazine, you want to get that pressure off of a double feed, for example. Um, it is not designed as a slide release. We have some very aggressive rear serrations that are here designed to help with the manipulation of the gun. Uh, we also have a relief cut here that allows for easy manipulation of the magazine. We pull that out very easily, as you can see, um, with those relief cuts. Um, there's also a claw feature on the magazine base plate as well. Um, our magazines are derived from a Chip McCormick 9mm 1911 magazine that's been optimized for the PD-10. Obviously, our geometry is different from a 1911, so the top of this magazine, um, as well as the follower, um, and even the locking plate, and obviously the base plate are different than you would see on a 1911 mag. Some 9mm 1911 mags will work with with the PD-10. Um, we recommend those only for practice, uh, for plinking, for things like that. Um, we think that everybody should be carrying with a magazine that's optimized for the gun. Um, they're available from us as well, spare mags. Every gun ships with two of them. Uh, we do have, uh, in addition to the accessory rail and again, the ergonomics designed to help get a good grip on the gun, um, some other little features, we've got a standoff rail here to keep uh, the high thumb grip from uh, actuating that slide stop or 
pushing that slide stop down, keeping it from being actuated on an empty magazine. And we've also got a little bit of a shield here to make sure that that magazine does not, the magazine release does not get pushed. The magazine doesn't drop out under normal operating. Uh, keeps that relatively flush um, and inside on the back end, but then at the front, you can see that the magazine release is pretty pronounced, so it's really easy to get that out of there. We do offer an extended magazine release also. Um, it's a design that I've came up with many years ago, it's actually optimized that a short-thumbed person can push forward on that ramp and that will result in inward pressure. So that the extended magazine release um, not only works as an extension laterally, but also changes the function so that you can push forward and that allows a smaller handed person or a shorter digited person to uh, get reliable magazine release from the PD-10. Um, safety index point up here, which means it's a place for you to put your trigger finger when you're not ready to shoot. Um, the tactile, very easy to find. A lot of people have noticed also that on the support side, uh, because we've set that up ambidextrous, uh, it gives you a nice place to put the thumb uh, for reference and also for a little extra recoil management maybe out towards the front of the gun. Uh, we do have a loaded chamber indicator. We have a tab safety, obviously. Um, we have a drop safety uh, inside there by blocking the firing pin. And uh, that's the PD-10. Uh, the best set of compromises, I think, for a carry gun. And again, not just for a gun to carry, but for the person who's going to carry and practice, which we obviously hope is everyone who's carrying. Uh, based on uh, a couple decades of watching thousands of hands on thousands of guns, uh, this is the first offering from Avidity Arms. Um, we are gonna have a long slide version. We're gonna have an optimized uh, target shooting or even competition version. Double stack in the works, some other guns coming from Avidity Arms in the future, but today, the Avidity Arms PD-10-OC, which means optic cut uh, with our gray frame. Um, I really like the looks of this gun, gray and black, uh, black accents, and it's available right now. You can learn more about it at avidityarms.com.